I'm going to go over a few of the things regarding managing the company directory. Um, so this is just some general um, information, whether you need to input new, do some edits, or even changing category names. Uh, we have noticed that there is a bit of an issue with an Internet Explorer 7, and so you may need to use Firefox in order to edit this area. Um, okay, so company directory you can find under content, and then company directory in the drop-down list. When you click on that, it's going to bring up the company directory page with its own list of uh, navigation tabs um, and a series of things that you can actually do there. So by default, it's just listing all the companies, and we're going to see that well, it's a really, 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 really long page because, well, quite frankly, we've got a lot of companies. Um, it does list them back here alphabetically, so you can quickly um, get to where you need to if you have to edit an existing one. So it's just a matter of scrolling down and clicking on one of the existing ones. Uh, we'll take this one, a little touch of care. So it's going to pull it up. Uh, there's a number of fields. Not all fields apply to all businesses. We have some very specific stuff, especially for the um, accommodations industry. Uh, in this particular case, but you'll see we've got the name of the business, the address this is the address that they tend to show. We can enter a contact email, website. You can set any business to be either published in draft mode, which means that it's not going to show, or disabled, which also means it's not going to show. Um, the details is where we can actually do a page worth of information, uh, whether it's a full description or a reduced one. Uh, it's totally at, uh, at your discretion, the discretion of that particular uh, business. An image, if you have a photo on hand, they can be uploaded. The company directory doesn't make use of them at the moment, but the accommodations directory does. Um, so these would be the little photographs. Uh, also, there's uh, the ability to add in a logo, but I do not think that uh, it is being used within the company directory at this time. If we wanted to, uh, we'd need to change the templates and just how they're structuring things. Um, you'll see some of the information regarding the NAIC codes um, that were uh, being tracked. Um, so, full time is full time employees, part time, part time employees, seasonal employees. Whether it's a home-based business, the contact person, and then you'll see the list of stuff that is uh, very particular to the um, the accommodations and industry. Um, so that's whether it's B and B hotel. You you just check off which ones apply. The rates uh, from everything that was supplied, we didn't have any actual rates indicated. Um, so if they offered winter rates. It was an indication of yes, and that was pretty much it. Um, service is just a very quick and to the point um, summation of what that business is, what they do, what they offer. Um, if supplied or if you have something on hand that's appropriate, you can put it in there, but it should be very short. And then we'll see these are the listing of the categories. So from the categories, it would be a matter of scrolling down and checking off all categories that it applies to. The numbers are the actual NEIC um, code numbers. The descriptions also come from there. If you did want to, uh, um, any changes to be made to those, that would have to be done under the category section. And you'll see that uh, in this case, 6241 individual and family services is what's checked off for this particular business. You can check off as many as apply, and that would be it. You would hit submit, that would save it, and automatically everywhere that it's uh, being listed on the website, it would happen. Um, I'm going to say cancel, and that's just going to take me back to the list of the actual companies again. And as it would happen, of course, when I'm doing the video, my wireless network is a little on the slow side. Field definitions, don't worry about categories. This is important. So here's a listing of all the categories. They are listing um, alphabetically, and it's just the way that it happens to work when you're dealing with uh, numerics um, and alphabetical listing. Um, that might not be the sequence you expect. You expect 11 to be at the top. Well, um, this is just one of the quirks with uh, how it sorts. 
But if you wanted to edit any one of these, it's a matter of clicking on it, either here or on the far side, there's the edit button or the delete, so you can delete a category, don't advise it. Um, so we'll click on that particular category. I could go in and change any of those words, but do not change the numbers. And your numbers have it end with a colon. Um, reason being, we are stripping out the number reference and the colon uh, when we write them to the page on the front end of the site. Uh, just to keep it clean for um, people that are using the site. They really don't care about the numbers, so we don't use them. And that covers, honestly, uh, what you need to know in terms of the company directory. If you did want to add a new company, uh, it would just be a matter of doing that under the Companies tab. So for me, uh, this one that's currently selected, if you go down to the very bottom of the page, Again, very long list, add company. Click on it, and here you go. It's a completely blank slate. You can add everything in, and when you hit submit at the bottom, that's it. It's saved, and it will be live and sorted into its appropriate category.